Now in this video we're going to look at a transportation problem. Now a transportation problem is very similar to an allocation problem. However, now the variables are no longer indicator variables. Okay, so this one could be a little bit more challenging to kind of get through and to kind of like see what's going on. So I'll just read out what the problem is and then we'll see if we can interpret what this table is really showing. Uh, we've got a delivery company needs to find the cheapest way to deliver orders from a number of warehouses to a number of shops. So we can already say right that the objective function is going to be minimize. Okay, so we're going to minimize the total cost. There are three warehouses, so we've got A, B and C, and four shops, one, two and three and four. And each warehouse can fill the order of any one shop, but the cost of doing so depends on the distance between the warehouse and the shop. So, uh, what that means is that warehouse A can stock uh, more than just shop one. It could do some to shop one, some to shop two, some to shop three, some to shop four, or all to just shop two, for example. Okay? Um, the table shows the cost for each warehouse to supply each shop, as well as the availabilities of the warehouses and the demands of the shops. Formulate this as a linear programming problem. Right, so let's just look at this table so we can really understand what it means. So, warehouse A has 20 units available, warehouse B has 35, warehouse C has 40. Now, the total availability here uh, adds up to 95, and that is exactly the same as the amount that is required. Okay, just to be clear. So, the amount that's required by the shops is precisely what we have available. Now, warehouse A could has got to send out 20, so all of these have got to be sent out to the shops. Warehouse A has got to send out 20. Now, it could send all 20 uh, to shop 2, for example. Um, or it could send out 10 to shop 1 and 10 to shop 2. Or it could send out 5 to each of the four shops. Now, of course, we want all of these requirements to be stocked. And we also want to minimize the total cost. And each time I'm sending anything from warehouse A to shop 1, it costs 83. Uh, to shop 2, it costs 80. To, 70, uh, to 75 to shop 3. And 88 to shop 4. So it's quite a complicated problem okay, that's going on behind the scenes. It's certainly not one you'd want to do by hand. So how am I going to minimize this? Well, as I said, the, indicator, uh, the variables are no longer indicator variables. Uh, because really they represent kind of how much, um, so A1 is going to represent how much uh, we're going to be sending from warehouse A to shop 1. Okay, so how do we uh, set up our objective function? Well, we're going to have to have the cost, so 83, times by A1. Because A1 will be the a number or the amount of that I've got to send to shop one, and each one costs 83. Okay? So 83A1 plus 80A2 plus 75A3 plus 88A4 plus... 78B1 plus 84B2 plus 92B3 plus 86B4 uh, and then plus 85C1 plus 87C2 plus 86C3 plus 83C4. So that's my objective function. Okay, subject to. Right, now let's focus on warehouse A to start off with. Now, warehouse A uh, is to supply 
each of shop one, shop two, shop three, or shop four. Um, now, all I need is for those numbers, so A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4, uh, I need those values to add up to 20 because that's what I have available in the warehouse. Okay, so then B1 plus B2 plus B3 plus B4, that's got to be equal to 35 because that's how much I've got in warehouse B. And C1 plus C2 plus C3 plus C4 has got to be equal to 40. Now, these have got to be equal to those because I must send out all of what I have available to the shops because the total availability equals the total requirement. Right, so they're the three warehouses. Now, those constraints by themselves aren't going to solve the problem um, because essentially I also need to consider uh, the requirements that each of the shops has. I haven't actually got the requirements down as part of my constraints because otherwise what I could end up doing is sending, uh, having A4, B4 and C4 and sending everything to shop 4 when actually they only require 22 and instead they're going to get the whole 95 which they don't want. So what I need is a constraint for each of the shops. So I must have A1 plus B1 plus C1. That's got to be equal to 15. And A2 plus B2 plus C2 has got to be equal to 28. Uh, A3 plus B3 plus C3 has got to be equal to 30. And uh, A4 plus B4 plus C4 has got to be equal to 22. And that is my linear programming problem. It's quite, you know, quite arduous to write it down, uh, but that is how we set it up. And if we plug that into Lindo, Lindo would be able to solve the problem for us.